All right, I want to talk to you a bit about shape construction and uh, manipulation. And one of those uh, go-to tools is the Shape Builder tool. And you see it right down here. I tore that off. Um, and you have a few other tools with that, like Paint Bucket. Um, I also got my shape tools out because I'm going to I'll use those. So remember, just go to the end, let go, and it tears that off. Now, we're going to look at... Uh, using shapes and a lot of times you'll reuse what's already there and move it around so remember holding down option and dragging a new shape is a good way quick way to duplicate uh, or if you duplicate and you make it something smaller uh, if you want it to be the same hold shift uh, if you want it to go from a center point you can hold down option or alt so you also see when you hold down option you can flip that over or you can flip it over this way and go the other direction. Now another way just to flip a shape is to select it, right click, transform, and then go down to reflect. And from there you can preview and you can either copy it to make another one or just flip it. And I could go either direction here. Alright, so that's basic uh, moving around shapes and the curved arrow can allow you to rotate. Now if I want to combine shapes, uh, let's say I put these two shapes together, uh, one of the quick tools to work with is Shape Builder. And so I'll select both shapes, back with add to this profile here. So I'll select both shapes, go to uh, Shape Builder, and you see as I drag through both of the, all those shapes, it puts them together, drags them together. I can also delete from these as well, so uh, if I brought this in a little farther and I want to I'll select both, Shape Builder, if I hold down Option and drag into this uh, area here, it actually deletes that from my first shape. So it's a, a quick go-to tool for making subtractions or additions, let's say I wanted to add this quickly, uh, I could use the Shape Builder tool to drag those together. Now, there are other ways to combine shapes as well, and one of those is uh, to use the Pathfinder menu. And that's found, uh, usually if it's not open, you have to go up under Window, where all your tools are, and open Pathfinder. And what I did was just stick uh, that menu onto the side of this so I can always get to that um, and use that easily. So you can also tear it off and go until you get the gray bar or blue bar and there it's all connected. So always have the tools out that you want to use the most and it's easier to, uh, to work after you have your workspace set up. Alright, in shape modes up here at the top in Pathfinder uh, the first one is to combine. It's kind of what Shape Builder does, but uh, uh, I'll select both of those blue shapes, and this first one is Unite. It simply unites it into one. So if you have several different colors together and you put those together, hit Unite, it goes to one color. There we go, back one. Okay. Uh, the second, uh, we'll stick some of these on here too again. Um, in fact, let's make this a different color so you can see it a little bit easier. So if I select these now, go to the next one. Uh, actually, we'll do one at a time. This one is the same as Shape Builder also, but whatever is on front will be taken away from what's behind. So it's called Minus Front, and there you can see it's like a, a puzzle cutting away uh, the top piece from the bottom piece. Uh, the next one is in between, so it keeps what's in between, and then the last one keeps what's on the outside edges if you wanted to cut the middle out or it intersected. All right, the bottom tools are a little different. These are Pathfinder tools. Uh, the first one is uh, if I stack several pieces there, you'll see it's called divide, and if I divide this and then get my uh, direct selection arrow. Now you can see if I pull them apart, all of these are, are now separate pieces like a puzzle again uh, that has been taken apart. 
Okay, if I select it with the selection arrow, you notice it's all grouped together still. So if you go to Object Ungroup, you can make those individual pieces that come apart as individuals. Okay, so that's uh, useful when taking something apart in this, this case. Uh, the next one over is Trim, and this works by uh, trimming away. You can see in this case it gets rid of intersections and it trims, uh, in this case, just at the edge of that shape. Uh, kind of like divide, but uh, it doesn't divide the intersecting parts also. The next one is when you're working with multiple colors. It's, this is pretty helpful. Uh, if I select those and go to Merge, um, it you see it merges all the light colored parts. But if I were to take that apart, it's now a, a, a selected piece or a, a deselected piece. So at the edge, they come apart, and it's uh, now uh, a jigsaw puzzle, if you will, again. All right, and moving on, we have uh, our last piece here. By the way, if you want to move something forward and back, command bracket keys are a quick way to do that. Um, you can also go right-click and go to Arrange, Bring to Front and you can use these tools that way. Alright, uh, this next one here, select all of those, is uh, crop and see what it does is it takes the very top shape and it crops everything else down to now just uh, inside of that initial shape. So everything else is gone and it's reduced to intersections inside of this top shape that you put on. And outline, um, this one reduces down to an outline form um, and uh, this is helpful to view um, kind of where your outlines are um, so you can deal with uh, individual points for instance. And 